Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's morning musings is all about manifestation. I'm doing a series of daily morning musings, and I am using posts from my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote these posts a while ago, so when I'm reading them, if I find anything that I feel is out of date or have had some new revelations, I will interrupt myself and give you the most recent information. And also, at the end, if necessary, I will summarize this topic in relation to what's going on in the world today. And I also have some special offers, including a brand new one. So stay tuned to the very end to find out what those are. Musings on Manifestation. Last Saturday, I did readings at East West Books. I was very excited when I arrived, even though I only had one person signed up. I immediately gave myself a project. I made a calendar showing all the readers in all their time slots for the remainder of March. And then I thought of a great new workshop to submit to East West for their next series of events. I was aware that I really wanted to talk to everyone in the store, but my enthusiasm was a bit out there, so I went back into the reading room and tried to meditate. I had the inspiration to take all this energy, which was spurting out all over the place, and run it through my solar plexus. I remember this flash of concern when I did it, like taking my own energy and running it through my inner space would make it disappear. Instead, what happened was I calmed down, and shortly afterwards, people started signing up for readings, and I was busy non-stop for the rest of the day. The next Wednesday, I wasn't quite so brimming with excitement, but I had the intuitive hunch to show up early and be prepared not to take a break. Only three people were signed up, but the moment I started reading, additional folks signed up and I went up right up to the stopping time. I didn't do any special energy work. I didn't send out pink balloons or create affirmations or use any unique manifestation techniques. I just shifted my focus and things started to happen. A typical but ineffective way of creating your reality is to put your focus on what you want to happen. You create an affirmation or a vision board, and you keep it in your consciousness all the time. Except, in so doing, you are using the energy of effort, which kills spiritual creativity, and you're not letting go of your desire. So you keep holding it as a wish rather than releasing it to become reality. It's tough to let go of your dreams, but that's what needs to happen if you want it to come into form. There's an additional element to all of this. In focusing on what you want to manifest, you're somewhat resisting what you already have. You're trying to change, fix, or improve your present creation, which invalidates them and keeps them stuck. Your expanded self is delighted at what's currently in your hologram. Even the most uncomfortable aspects of your life, your expanded self is going, yeah, bring it on. Because as spirit, you have no ethics, and everything is your creation. So the most challenging dilemma is just evidence of how creative you are. You, the you that is more than you, loves difficulties and discomfort. That's not exactly accurate. You, the you that is more than you, just loves playing the human game and is enjoying every aspect of it. You, the you that you usually identify with, has preferences and resists them when they aren't going your way. Resistance and discomfort are an indication that you're out of alignment with the essence of who you are, your expanded self. When you relax and trust that all is very, very well, that everything is unfolding exactly as it should, suddenly things start to feel a lot better and good things start happening. Abraham Hicks calls it turning downstream. Others call it going with the flow. I like to think of it as your little will aligning with your higher will. And a simple way to do that is to bring your focus back to yourself, to the present moment, to bring your energy within your own space. Drop all those people and projects and things you're trying to help make better. Those people have expanded selves as well. Your projects, if they're yours, are already on some level complete. Releasing them helps them unfold as they should as well. I invite you to take a moment right now to just imagine releasing everyone to their own reality. Bring your energy back from all those other places to your own space. Take a deep breath and imagine anything that's not yours dropping out of your space. You can release it down to the center of the earth where there's a big recycling or compost center. Notice how that feels. Try not affirming or intending anything this week and see what shows up. And this is an interesting approach to manifestation. It does sort of counteract the typical law of attraction where you keep your focus on something. Because what I have found is that, you know, keeping your focus on something is in a way of keeping it stuck because you are trying to change, fix, or improve something like I mentioned. It's implying that what's going on right now, there's something wrong with it. And by viewing what's going on right now as something wrong, you're solidifying it as something wrong. What this talks about in not affirming or intending anything this week is really just letting it go, which 
then allows reality to reorganize in your favor. Another way to look at it is you are an expanded self. We all are consciousness manifesting into individual form. And in this individual form, there's limitation. But as consciousness, we are constantly creating reality. We have a bigger imagination of what should happen. We are actually in the process of bringing it into form. Anything you can imagine already exists in a greater reality. So if you've had any experience like this, please let me know. Leave it in the comment below. I love reading your comments. Also, if you want a free sample of one of my consciousness techniques, click on the link below to the Skybox technique. It gives you a bigger perspective of what's going on in your life today and helps you see solutions to things from a view of greater consciousness. And I actually have a special right now. It's a self-study course on manifesting money and miracles. It's a great foundational course that you can do at your own time, at your own pace, to shift your energy to operating at a higher level of manifesting as consciousness. And if you want to know more, my website is joan-newcomb.com. I do individual sessions where I take a look at the essence of who you are and what's going on in your life, and I can answer any questions you might have. And if you want to learn how to do it yourself, the self-study, it's a great preparation to doing my coaching special where I work one-on-one -on -one with you, and I also give you consciousness techniques to help you transform your life. So go to my website, joan-newcomb.com and I'll see you tomorrow for another Morning Musings.